All right, folks, welcome back. We are fishing some open water finally out here at another creek in Indiana trying to catch some pike. Uh, kind of cold this morning, but it's supposed to get to like 40 degrees, so hopefully we do okay. And we have come out a couple different days, so if we don't do great today, I might combine them, but that's what we're doing. I'm out here with Mr. Smith, as usual. Doing? We got our pike rigs out. We got chubs and shiners. Is that what those other ones are? Chubs and shiners on the basic pike rigs. You've seen me do a few times. If you don't know what it is, look back at a different pike video, or I might even explain it today sometime, but that's what we're doing. We got the ditch lined up, trying to catch some pike. So let's see what happens. And a run. He let go, didn't he? Yeah. Like he got right to that log and stopped. Hopefully he didn't go into it. <laughs> Show me the memo still there. I don't think so. Good? I think it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got him. Need the net? No, he's a little guy. Fighter, though. Good point. Oh, where's he hooked at? Right in the top of the line. Oh, perfect. Good job. Healthy guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right about 23, 24. Yeah, not bad. Wide too, looking good. Definitely healthy. Perfect. He wasn't giving up on him. Let's get the pliers. Yep. Good enough on the camera. Thick. That'd be a good one to eat if you're gonna eat them. Yeah, that's a good eater size there. All the way down, about that high. I yeah. Speaking of that, look at he's had a problem. Yeah. He's got an injury healed. Bird. Yep. Tried to get him a crane, didn't he? Yep. That's a good call. Oh, wait, bud. No, come on. So I was hoping. Unharmed. He muddied it up. Yep. All right, we got one. Push it to the right. All the way until it went low memory. There you go. Got him. Another little one. There we go. He's a smaller one. A little aggressive dude. Trying not to block the view. Got him hooked in the snout. more control with my right hand hook came right out all right a little guy we think about 20 inches tall yeah fun little fight nothing huge yet but just let him go <laughs> it looks like a rocket yeah he's a little stunned hey that's fun stuff all right jake's got one Yeah, I was gonna say if he let go of it, then we. Well, it just stood it up, almost buried it all yeah, the way under, and ran two foot up that way. Oh, he's still there. And that's got a minnow that big on it. Really? It's got one bigger than it was the biggest minnow in there. Well, he's still trying. It might be a little guy giving it the old college effort. I hate, that was sucked. <laughs> well, I told Tony, I said we're gonna catch a big a twenty inch on this fourteen inch minnow. <laughs> Black is as much as he can. He's running with it now. Got him. Nice. There we go, boys. Oh, you still got the minnow too. Ooh, that's that's a good fish. Hell yeah, man. That's a one of the nicer males I've seen. If 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 that's that if that's a male. Hell yeah. Beautiful fish. 
Nice. Nice big healthy male. Yeah. Didn't bite very much is for sure. No, he just was kind of choking her down slow, wasn't he? Yeah, well, <laughs> that was a lot of mental to choke down. <laughs> <laughs> get a good picture, we'll send him back on his way. Hell yeah. Uh, 24, 24 and a half. No, he's closer oh, to 28. God. 27 and a half. 27 that is a big nine, male, guys. Sweet. Nice job, Jake. Handling him nice. Oh, God. Wrong way. Watching. Wrong way, Carl. Awesome. Awesome <laughs> footage. Right that there. was good stuff. All right, Jake's got him a good fish here. Now we got the good camera on him and the other camera. Oh, let him go. Son, loosen that drag. Sorry, I don't mean to coach oh, you. I can't help myself. I'm 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 100 with you. <laughs> oh, that's a oh, nice dog dogfish. Hey, dogfish are awesome. Him. Dogfish are awesome, boy. Watch him pull the fucking drag. That's one of the biggest dogfish I've seen come out of here. That's a big one, son. That's look that that almost looked look, like the one I caught. Look, he's smoking. <laughs> that's that's pretty tight. I love dogfish, boys. I ain't lying. Oh, you don't want to come. Best fighting freshwater fish, ladies and gentlemen, in northern Indiana. I don't, I'll don't. argue with anybody. Lean on a musky reel. And not moving. Oh, no. What? Oh, you got him. Yeah. I didn't see him. I thought, <laughs> no, no. That's a pretty good size one. Not quite as big as the one I caught at Cook, but that is the biggest one I've seen out of this. That's a six or seven pounder. Oh, that's bigger than that, Tony. If you that's got your scale, scale I promise right you that's closer. Scale. I bet you, I bet a $20 bill, that's eight. He felt like eight. Of course, they fight. So hard. I've caught six pounders and weighed them that didn't look that big. They're nothing but muscle. Yeah. Uh, if you want to hold that like that, I'll get the needle yeah. nose and get that out before we get it all tangled up. And those that are confused, I see a lot of confusion online that want to call that a snakehead, like it's an invasive species. It is not. Well, he's an ancient native species. That's exactly right. It's been here as long as the dinosaurs. These are necessary for the, the healthy rivers right here. You don't kill these unless you're going to eat them. These are awesome, fun fighting fish. That was a fun looking fight. He fought that. You what? About two minute fight right oh, there. Oh yeah. Fight of the year. They are so bony. Gamakatsu, big river bait hook. Hell yeah. That's the shit right That's there. The shit right there, man. That's didn't good even, stuff. Didn't even bend that hook or damage it. As long as he keeps his mouth shut, they're not as easy to grab as pike, folks. He's That's got small him. gills. Support that belly. What a. <gasps> Yep, that's exactly what happens to me every time I try to do that. These are some healthy, hardy fish, folks. He ain't going to hurt him. That's a slimy dude to try that with. Give him one try. Here we go. Oh, yeah, you got him. 7-9. Seven, nine. Seven, nine. Told you. That's an 8-pounder if I've ever seen one, boys. Look how big and healthy and muscle. Like that and get a picture? Or? Yeah, we hold this. And get yeah, that's smart. Back in the oh, he's got it at, uh, lungs. He can breathe air, so he's not hurting other than just whatever damage we do hold. Yeah. Look he's how wide he is, man. That's a wide fish. Now he's probably going to have a heck of a time getting that out of his mouth. Thanks, buddy. Oh, he ain't hurt. That. No, he's not hurt he's at all. Off. He's like, what was that all about? I don't know, but I want one. I'm jealous. I love catching dogfish. <laughs> nice job, Jake. That was fun. He was peeling the drag. Yeah, that peeling was fun. The drag. All right, folks, it's slowed down a little bit, so I'll have Tony explain to you the rig we use for pike fishing down here. All right, folks. What you got is you got your main line. I like using anywhere between 40 to 60 pound braid just because if you hook that big one, you might want to have the heavy line. Um, your floats can vary. I like using the slip bobbers just in case the water's up. It's easier to cast them especially when you have a heavy weight and a big minnow. What I like to do is, get it untangled here, is I like to run the leader that has the hook and the sucker straight to the main line. So that way when the fish takes it, you set the hook, you're 100% connected and you ain't pulling against the weight or against the bobber. See, he's got that weight on a separate swivel above the leader swivel. So, so that it way slides. it runs just like a Carolina rig. And you don't have to worry about tangling because the swivel circles around the line instead of tangling into the line. I like running my dropper, depending on the depth of the water, anywhere between 12 to 15 inches. If the water's deeper, you can make the dropper, you know, 16, 18 inches. I like running just a regular overhand loop 
so that way you can switch your sinker size in and out if the water is stronger bigger bait you can put a three or a four ounce i like trying to use a two that's pretty standard for our indiana waters yep but that's how i do it and these um, are creek chubs that tony goes out and catches occasionally we have to buy them but usually you can only buy shiners uh-oh live action yeah that's fish. <laughs> get it we got live action live action folks during the instructions it's a slow sinker too tony it might be a good size fish He's got it. No. He didn't have it. Had a little weight behind it too. Yep. Oh, that's good. You didn't put a hook in him. Yeah. All right. all right, well, I guess, did, did we get all of the tip? Hopefully it's all in there. What Same size thing. hook and what kind of hook? Um, I make it to where I use the river hooks made by Mustad and uh they're called river bends um that looks like a three yacht yeah three but i like to have it where i can change them by the size of the bait if you're using a smaller bait uh, go yep. with a smaller hook yep. but make sure it's stout yep you don't want it bending on you yep all right so that's that folks we just missed another one we've caught a couple uh it's still kind of cold out but hey we're fishing the ice is receding so it's good times go ahead Got him. There we go. Net. It's a nice one. Yeah, he's hooked real good. He's fat. He's a stu he's stubby. Look at the belly on her. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at the belly on her. Beautiful fish. Clean, healthy. Uh, about 27-ish? Yeah. It's about what they seem to be, cookie cutters. Beautiful. Look at the purple in its face. Oh, yeah. Sure is. Little Beautiful. different colors than the kink and yellow. Got, got like a purplish iridescent blue. Yeah. Turquoise, maybe. Definitely healthy. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a pretty fish. Nice. Oh, that was awesome. Nice. That felt perfect, too. Yeah. <laughs>